Guys, so welcome back to another video. So today uh, we're going to be talking about how to get into have, having cold showers. Uh, maybe you haven't got very much experience having them in the past. Um, here's how I'll start. So I'm going to talk more about the general principles of having a cold shower, which I think are important. Um, so what I would say is more than anything else, you just want to enjoy it. That's the really thing to focus on. Because that's the only real reason, that's the only thing that gets me into the habit of having a cold shower. You know, people talk about the, um, the benefits on your cognitive ability and your improved immune system. And it's not that I, I reject all of that, but the thing that really brings me back time and time again to having a cold shower is just the fantastic feeling you get afterwards. Um, your body just feels amazing. And I think a lot of people kind of their impression about cold showers is, pe is that people just do it for the sake of it or, or they do it for these kind of health benefits obviously like people do but i think the, the way to have a cold shower is to see it as part of the thing that you're almost looking forward to um yeah so the best way to go about it is to like anything start small Start at a stage where you can um, you can bear it and start to see the sort of positive after effects of a cold shower. Um, the sort of positive effects I get is kind of a warm, just a warm sort of feeling. Your muscles are relaxed, uh, your mind is fired up because it's had a bunch of adrenaline shot through it. Um, your dopamine's higher, this kind of thing. That's the thing you want to tap into, really. That's the thing you want to look out for. Um, and it's, it's something that Wim Hof says, but the thing you want to start doing, really, is just turn the shower to cold um, at the end of a hot shower. Um, now he's just sitting in it for 30 minutes. To be honest, I wouldn't even time it. I would just get in the habit of switching the shower to cold and then as soon as it gets too cold, just turn it off. Like you really, you want to start as small as possible. Um, but it's my belief that even at these small levels of, of cold exposure, you're still gonna, if you're not used to it, you're still gonna get that kind of um, shock that is gonna send positive, give you a positive feeling. Um, and if it doesn't, then I would just rec recommend just slowly building up your endurance to a point where you do get that positive effect. So maybe you need to get up to 30 seconds of just sitting in a cold shower. Um, and then afterwards, by the time you get that, then you start getting the positive, um, you know, the heightened dopamine um, and the relaxed feeling. Um, so maybe that's what that's sort of, you do is build up to it to some extent. Um, but that's really the principle that I, I want to give like more than anything is if you're doing them right if you, if you have the right attitude to cold showers you will always have one you will always um, come back to it because you're so the benefits are so self-evident to you you don't need some guy in a fucking lab coat to say oh it heightens adrenaline you know, blah, blah, blah. obviously I've been talking that language a bit um, but it's just the feeling you get that you know in yourself. You don't need some dickhead to come up and tell you that it's good for you. It just kind of feels good. Um, yeah, that's what I'd say. And one last thing I would say um, um, consistency is the most important thing as well. So I talked a bit about not doing it, you know, don't have to do it very long. Absolutely agree with that, but I think you have to do it every day. Um, every night or, or you know every morning whenever it is just um every time you have a shower just get used to turning it's cold if only for a few seconds um and once you just get into the mechanics of it you get used to doing it and um and, you're, and then you'll be able to build up from there uh and then this the other thing that's worth mentioning is this follows a very good sort of guide to a very sort of good model of, of bathing like in the ancient Roman baths you'd have gradually hotter um, temperatures of, of, sort of saunas and baths and then at the end you'd have a cold plunge 
So in a way, turn the shower to cold is a way of reconnecting with a sort of ancient tradition of, of having a cold bath at the, uh, the, the ends. Expo cold water exposure at the end of a hot bath. Um, because uh, the other thing is, um, it closes up your pores, uh, which well, the Romans did it, it closes up their pores. Um, so it sort of signals to your body that you're finished cleaning, basically, is the way I like to think of it. So uh, I hope this is helpful, guys. Um, cold showers, it's, is it going to change your life? Well, I don't know, really. I don't know. But you just want to do it for the sake of it, really, more than anything. Um, and it's one of those things, it's, it's not one of those things that's going to change your life, but the positive ripple effects of a cold shower at the beginning of, or even the end of your day is so great. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I'll see you soon.